Hey guys, what's up? Today I will be ranking the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks. So, here we go. Alright, so first off, we got DK Jungle. It's pretty average. I will give it a C tier. Music Park, I like this track. I like how they brought it back from Mario Kart 7. I'm going to give it an A. Piranha Plant Slide is another one that I love that they brought back from the 3DS. Um, I'm going to give that one an A as well. Bone Dry Dunes, it's pretty bone dry in content. So, I'm going to give it... I'm tempted to put it in F tier, but it's borderline D tier. Bowser's Castle. This is actually pretty cool. I think I'm going to give it a B tier. Cloud Top Cruise. A lot of people love this course. For me, I like it. I don't love it. So I'm going to put that as a B tier as well. Dolphin Shoals. Uh, also known as the only race track in the Star Cup that is an absolutely godlike. And for that, we're going to give it a C tier. Cheap Cheap Beach. This was actually one of my favorite tracks from the DS. So, we'll give it a B. TikTok Clock. Um, obviously very fun to play on, so A tier. Wario Stadium. I love how they brought this back from the DS. So, we're going to give that We're going to give it C tier because it was just it was just average on the DS for me. So, Electrodome, um, very, it shows off the capabilities of, like, anti-gravity well. I love it. I'm putting it at S tier. Our first S tier track today is Electrodome. Mario Circuit. This one's pretty bland, so we're going to give it a D tier. Dry, dry desert, same thing, except even more bland. And it's just not that fun to play on either. So... It puts me to sleep. So for that, we're going to give it an F tier. Sherbet Land. Um, we're going to give it a C tier. The other Mario circuit is a little more, you know, like, flashy because it's from a newer game. So we're going to give it C tier. Mario Kart Stadium shows shows off anti-gravity pretty well and also looks pretty cool. So that gets B tier in my mind. Mount Wario. I love this. So we're gonna give it A tier. Rainbow Road on the N64. I love that they cut it down, but it's like too short, ironically. We're gonna give it we're gonna give it B tier because it's still a pretty good track. Royal Raceway. It's Pretty bland, I don't really like the colors on it. And it just gets lost in the mix, so we're going to put it in D tier. Toad's Turnpike is actually pretty fun, although it's massively scaled down. It's still pretty fun, so we're going to put it at B tier. Um, Yoshi Valley, I like the split path idea, and for that, that gets B tier as well. Rainbow Road, now this is one that I really like. It's like, a, it's like... You're aboard the space, the International Space Station. It's pretty cool. So we're going to give it A tier. Alright. Shy Guy Falls. This one again, I don't really like. So we're going to give it D tier. Donut Plains 3. It's bland, but the difference between that and something like Royal Wait Raceway is that it's pretty nostalgic. So we're going to give that C tier. Sunshine Airport is a really good track. It took something as boring as an airport and made it into something absolutely amazing. So that gets S tier. Two tracks in Star Cup get S tier today for me. Sweet Sweet Canyon. This one's pretty fun to race on. Um, I call it great, but not amazing. So we're going to put it at B tier. Because there are a lot of amazing tracks in this game. Fomp Ruins. This one is really fun to race on. Um, we're going to put it A tier, but it is borderline 
almost B tier, so. Toad Harbor. This is pretty cool. It's like you're on the streets of San Francisco with all the trolleys and stuff. I really like the design of it. And that's usually why I like these tracks, because of the design of them. They show off the anti-gravity well, and they're really fun to race on. They have just the right amount of difficulty as well. Alright, so we're going to take a break. Alright, we're back and we start again with Twisted Mansion. Very fun. That's all I got to say about it. Good horror thing track too. B tier. Water Park. This one's similar to Toad's Turnpike. It's pretty fun, but it's pretty easy at the same time. For me, at least. Grumble Volcano. Um, I have really fun. I literally like love the texturing and all the obstacles on this one. I gotta give it A tier. Moo Moo Meadows. This one, just like Dry Di Dry Dry Desert, is about as bland as you can get. It's like, Mario Kart Wii had some really interesting tracks, but to bring Moo Moo Meadows back, I don't really know if that was the best move. Because of that, and just how generic it is. There's literally no obstacles, it seems like. I'm giving F tier. Our second F tier track today is Moo Moo Meadows. Neo Bowser City. This one is a good from the 3DS, but it's not great. So I'm going to put it at C tier. Animal Crossing, same thing. It's good, but not great. So C tier for that as well. Now, I feel... I feel guilty about Neo Bowser City. I'm going to move that up to B tier. We now have 11 courses in B tier. Big Blue. I don't know if there's any question about it. Big Blue is an automatic S tier. The music, the design, the race, so fun. F-Zero themed. Can't go wrong with it. Dragon Driftway. Now, this is one that I don't have a lot of experience with. But the few times I did play it, it's pretty fun. So we're going to give it a B tier. Excite Bike Arena. This is very retro, and I like that. It is pretty generic, but it takes that and just amplifies it. It's so fun. It's nostalgic. Just like, I don't know which track it was. Uh, yeah, Donut Plains 3. It's just like Donut Plains 3, except a little bit better. So it goes one tier above there and B tier. Cheese Land. It's bland, but I'm going to give it a little leverage D tier. The colors just don't do it for me. <laughs> and like for a game that's in HD, I feel like graphics are a big deal. So when the colors are just so ugly, it just doesn't. It just pretty much ruins a track for me in some cases. Anyway, Ribbon Road. This one's actually pretty fun. It's like you're driving through a kid's bedroom. I'm going to give it A tier. Baby Park. This one was massively scaled down from the GameCube version. But I mean, it may be the most nostalgic Mario track ever. <laughs> Mario Kart track ever. So I'm going to give it B tier. Bottom of B tier. Borderline C tier. Yoshi Circuit. <sighs> I don't remember too much about it, and that's my real issue with it. Besides being shaped like Yoshi, it's pretty bland, so I'm going to give it D tier. Hyrule Circuit. This is pretty fun. A Zelda-themed course in Mario Kart. That's pretty cool. I gotta give it A tier. Ice Ice Outpost. The track, like the split path is pretty cool, but other than that, there's not a lot going for it. But a split path is definitely a very good mechanic, so B tier. <laughs> Mute City, the other F Zero track. This one's not quite as good as Big Blue, but it's still pretty darn good. So we're gonna give it A tier. We got four more tracks left, and they're pretty good. Rainbow Road on the SNES, though. I. Not particularly fond of it, but I don't hate it. It's a C tier. Um, Super Bell Subway is pretty fun. It takes Super Mario 3D World, an interesting mechanic from that. That being the cat bell suit. 
and makes it into a Mario Kart course themed about a subway, so I like it. Wario's gold mine from the Wii, I think, was a pretty good move to bring back. And we're gonna give we're gonna have to give it A tier. And finally, Wild Woods. It's decent. Not amazing. But it does feel harsh putting it like at C tier when Animal Crossing C tier. So I'm gonna move Animal Crossing up to C tier. I mean B tier and keep Wild Woods at C tier. So there we go. That those are my rankings. In F tier we have Dry Dry Desert and Moo Moo Meadows. D tier Bone Dry Dunes, Mario Circuit, Royal Raceway, Yoshi Circuit, Shaggy Falls, Cheese Land. C tier we got DK Jungle, Dolphin Shoals, Wario Stadium, Sherbet Land, Donut Plains 3, Mario Circuit, Wildwoods, and Rainbow Road. B tier Bowser's Castle, Cloud. Cloud Top Cruise, Cheap Cheap Beach, Mario Kart Stadium, Toad's Turnpike, Rainbow Road, Yoshi Valley, Sweet Sweet Canyon, Twisted Mansion, Water Park, Neo Bowser City, Dragon Driftway, Excite Bike Arena, Baby Park, Ice Ice Outpost, and Animal Crossing. Here, Music Park, Piranha Plant Slide, Tick Tock Clock, Mount Wario, Rainbow Road, Farm Bruins, Toad Harbor, Grumble Volcano, Ribbon Road, Mute City, Hyrule Circuit, Superbell Subway, and Wario's Gold Mine. And the three best tracks in the game, S tier, we got Electrodome. Sunshine Airport and Big Blue. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and stay happy and healthy.